Okay. Ano ba topic natin uli ngayon? We'll be, we'll be discussing about vitamin C and heart attacks, no? Tingnan nyo lang muna itong pattern na to. Gumagalaw, hindi. Sino sabing gumagalaw? Maalon. Walang sumasayaw? Hindi nagtataktak? So, gumagalaw, right? Sino sabing hindi gumagalaw? Hindi naman nagtaslat, eh. So, meron na nagsasabi, hindi gumagalaw, right? Meron din doon, no? Pero sabi, most of you said gumagalaw, right? Both of you are correct, no? Uh, that's the power of your mind, no? Actually, the image is still picture lang yan, eh. Pero it was designed by a Japanese illusionist to make it so na talagang nagwe-wave siya, di ba? Titignan nyo, nagwe-wave. That's the power of your mind, no? So, We've been bombarded with so much information every day. Try media, si television, newspaper, radio. No? So, kung ano na yung sinasabi nila sa atin, di ba? Na-imprint yan sa mind natin. Di ba? Paulit-ulit na kasinungalingan, nagiging totoo po yan. That's the power of your mind. No? So, for this afternoon, sabi ko nga, I always flash this slide every time I do a lecture. No? Ano po sabi dyan sa slides na yan? Statistics have shown that when presented with a new and different challenging idea, uh, 96% of people will spend their time and energy depending their current beliefs, and only about 4% will embrace the idea as something to seriously consider. Sino sa inyo ang nagtetake ng mga cholesterol-lowering drugs? Statics, Ipitor, Sopor, uh, Lipantel, All static. Meron? Wala. Wala. Very good. So, ibig sabihin, wala sa inyong may high blood, wala sa inyong meron uh, sakit na diabetes, wala sa inyong may sakit na sakit sa puso. Kasi one of the things that uh, the doctors that we give nowadays is cholesterol-lowering drugs. No? Ano na yan eh? Part of the uh, treatment uh, regimen for, for hypertension, for... Uh, Atapis of puso and for diabetes, no? Sabi dito, carcinogenicity. Uh, the word itself, no, implies, no, cancer. Cholesterol-lowering drug states that statins, this is ating generic na, uh, are known to cause cancer, liver damage, and other severe side effects. And should be avoided whenever possible. Kaya ako yun emphasize yan kasi nga, should be avoided whenever possible. Pero ngayon kasi, wala na yan eh. Hindi na ina-avoid yan. Kasi nga, as part of the treatment regimen, kasama na yan, veterinary na yan. When you go to your doctors, at uh, actually, di ba? Automatic yan. They do uh, lipids, uh, blood exam, makikita dyan, cholesterol nyo mataas. So, automatically, they can give you cholesterol-lowering drugs. Why? Bakit ko na-emphasize ang cholesterol-lowering drugs? No? And here's another test by Dr. Newman. Most of the cholesterol-lowering drugs were known to cause cancer in test animals at level currently prescribed to hundreds of thousands of people. So, ganun po siya. So, alam na namin to since 1996. This is another study done by uh, Dr. Gollum sa University of California. Sinabi niya dito, we have people who have lost thinking ability so rapidly that within the course of a couple of months, they went from being head of a major divisions of companies to not being able to balance a checkbook and being fired from their company. That's because of statins. So, bakit? Ano po ginagawa ng statins? One of the things that statins do, it can cause cognitive impairment. Ano po ito? It's part of, if you familiar case of word na amnesia, no? it can cause global transient. No? Uh, Short-term memory loss or long-term memory loss. No? That's ano, statins din po yan. Ang cholesterol po is very vital to the proper neurologic function, no? Kaya nga po, uh, one of the things na ginagawa niya, it's very important especially sa atin memory. Kaya kung nakita niyo yung previous slides, one of the things na magkakaroon kayo, if you regularly take uh, your statins, is your uh, memory loss, no? Why? It is uh, related to production of your hormones, especially your serotonin. If you're familiar with serotonin, this is the feel-good chemical. Kung masaya kayo, if you're elated, if you're if you really feel good, no, the, your brain's producing your serotonin, no. 
uh, kung familiar din kayo with the medicines that we use, uh, we use serotonin for patients who have uh, mga depressions, no? Para gumanda yung kanilang pakiramdam. And then, cholesterol is also the main organic molecule in the brain. If you're familiar with sisig, di ba? Uh, isa sa sangkap na sisig na nilalagay ng mga kapampangan, kaya masarap yung sisig nila, is cholesterol, yung ano, uh, the pig's brain. No? Kaya malinamnam yung kanila eh. Hinahalo nila. Kasi nga, it's made of cholesterol. No? Kaya masarap. Cholesterol is also the precursor for all other hormones produced by the adrenal cortex. Ano yan? These are your glucocorticoids, mineral glucocorticoids, and your sex hormones. Glucocorticoids is responsible for the production of your uh, blood sugar. No? And your minerals and other sex hormones. So what happens if you have a low cholesterol, uh, whether due to uh, uh, error in metabolism or cholesterol induced by your cholesterol-lowering drugs, you can have problems with your blood sugar, you can have swelling of your legs, you can have uh, yung mga chronic inflammation, yung mga arthritis, you can have difficulty of healing, asthma, reduced libido, and infertility problems. No? Isa po yan sa ginagawa ng cholesterols natin. So how does your statins work? No? It works by blocking an enzyme called your hydromedroxyglutaric acid, CoA reductase. No? The problem, if you block your co CoA reductase, hindi lang cholesterol ang ibinablock mo. You block a full process. No? Kaya ang nangyayari dahil, uh, instead of blocking only cholesterol, hindi siya selective. Eh. So you block a full process, you also block the production of your CoQ10. And another uh, product, it's, which is called your Dilacol. Uh, CoQ10 is the main respiratory enzyme which is uh, responsible for the cellular energy within the human heart. No? And what happens if you continuously take your statins, your CoQ10 ay nadideplete. No? Ng statins mo. So what happens, in long-term effect mo, it can diminish the heart and weaken it and over time result into a congestive heart failure. So CoQ10 is found in all cell membranes where it plays a maintaining uh, integrity sa nerve conduction and in the formation of the collagen for, for muscle integrity. The other one, your dialectal, medyo technical to, no? So it plays a role sa genetic program of, ng, ng cells, which we will be discussing a little bit er, mamaya. Here's a study done by a cardiologist, no? Hindi ko may pronounce to, kaya Dr. Peter na lang palagi tinasabi ko dyan, eh. On 20 patients with completely normal heart functions, no? Then after 6 months of low-dose statins, if you're familiar with your statins, statins are given on 20, 40, 80, meron yan 160, meron pa yan 200. No? So when you're given a 20 milligrams, that's the lowest dose, no? Uh, and two-thirds of the patients, after taking your low-dose statins after six months, nagkaroon pa sila ng abnormalities of the heart failure phase, no? Ano sabi ni doctor who did the study? This malfunction is due to the CoQ10 depletion, no? With CoQ10, the cell's mitochondria are inhibited from producing energy, leading to heart muscle pain and weakness. The heart is especially susceptible because it uses so much energy. So again, CoQ10. Here's a, a new study na in ko dito. This was done sa United Kingdom. Uh, medyo, ano to eh, uh, uh, kabaliktara ng ating paniniwala, ano? Because this one, the chronic heart failure patients benefited from the having high levels of cholesterol rather than low, no? And it shows that uh, survival was about 78% at 12 months, mataas po yan, no? And 56% after uh, 3 years, no? And they found that for every point of decrease in your serum cholesterol, ibig sabihin, the more na bumababa yung cholesterol mo, there was a 36% risk increase in the death within the next three years. So, kung titignan nyo, hindi pala ganun kasama ang cholesterol. Di ba? Kasi in these studies, medyo iba. Pero once you go to your, sa mga doctors natin, di ba? Usually, we lower the cholesterol. 